Exercise Tendon Bengal united medical crews from the U.S. and Bangladeshi armies, along with civilian specialists, to improve interoperability. The week-long collaboration was a success. With techniques and information exchanged by pediatricians, veterinarians, eye doctors, dentists, and a combat first responder training. Don't push the needle. Then disaster struck. Now that interoperability will be put to the ultimate test. It was in the back of my mind the whole time what was going on. I was saying, hey, this is perfect. This is what we came here to train so we can help each other in natural disasters. I'm sad to hear about the cyclone, but it brought in the reality of why we are here. It was a uh, coincidence that you came to face such a situation, but we were not mentally ready, and we did not think that a disaster will take place in the, during the exercise. It came. I hope people could utilize the lesson that they learned. In the early hours of the morning, another team arrived in Bangladesh. Weary from traveling, this assessment team jumped right into organizing aid with officials at the U.S. Embassy. So far, that our job was to get set up and really be the eyes and ears for the MEF commander so he can make some decisions on how he can support, offer support to the Bangladeshi government through the U.S. military, the U.S. mission here at the embassy. The team is also responsible for transporting the Tendon Bangal medical team south, where they can help the most affected local population. So right now we're formulating a plan that we can combine um, their expertise and local knowledge from just being here with some of the um, assets that we're going to bring with us from Okinawa or the ship, see how we can reinforce what the Bangladeshi military is already doing. So although these medics thought they'd have turkey with their families this year, well, we just found out that we're going to probably go back out again and work with the Bangladeshi Army for some more training and then also, of course, humanitarian aid in the affected areas. And um, if it covers over Thanksgiving, then that's just what's required of us. And I'm sure everybody is more than willing to get out there and provide some help. So not only was exercise tended in Bangladesh success, this humanitarian aid collaboration of different military services from different countries demonstrates that an exercise can turn real life in a matter of moments. Marine Corporal Jen Calloway, Dhaka, Bangladesh.